one week of farming after pulling for Jade when I didn't initially plan to and now we have her at almost maxed everything. Level 80, her to shop light cone, traces, and relics that we just borrowed from Sila, which is the 4-piece quantum, and the Salsoto from Dr. Ratio. So now it's time to farm the two follow-up relic sets in Grand Duke and the new Duran Planar sets. As these two can not only be used by Jade, but also her favorite allies in Herta and Himiko. Alright, let's go straight to the Grand Dukes. I trust my past self to have marked as discard the ones that are not usable, so let's go for the ones that are locked. Confirm. Only a few of these. None with crit damage? Damn. Okay, let's go straight to it. Crit damage would be nice. Of course, it's not crit damage. That goes to the trash. Next, let's go with the attack boots, starting with this one. Maybe reach plus 12. If it doesn't go our way. Two speed, but no crit. Come on. I feel like that's extremely bad. Right, this one, let's check first what the fourth subset is. Nope. How about this one? Crit damage. Perfectly dodged for everything. You know what? Let's upgrade this to 9. You know what? Let's go to level 12. Crit speed, crit rate. Okay, two crit rate rolls. That is already pretty good. How about this one? Bring it to level 9. Oh shoot, one roll and then another one crit rate. Ooh, two rolls as well. That means we should remove this from Topaz and then mark it as so. And then upgrade this with that straight to plus 15 because why not? Please be crits. Crit rolls. Ooh, no more crit rolls. Okay, 3 rolls for crit rate. That is pretty good. We have 2 decent boots. Now let's go to the head pieces. We don't have any double crit piece. This one is speed. This one is a high roll. I think we will prefer the high rolls with... Wait, all of these are crit rate? None? For crit damage? Crazy. Speed and crit rate. Pretty good so far. Plus 12. Another speed. Lastly, crit rate. Two rolls each. That is already pretty good. Crit rate. Two rolls for crit rate. How about this one? Will you get a second crit rate? Nope. That goes to the discard as well. So for the head pieces, we got two of them with two crit rate rolls. And the other one also has two speed rolls. Now for the hand pieces, which is the last one for the Grand Duke. We'll prefer crit damage now as we've been getting a lot of crit rate. Let's use this straight to plus 14. Two speed, one crit damage. Hopefully this one goes to crit damage. Yikes. Use this plus 14. Please crit damage. Ah, oh, such a bait. 3 on HP? Yikes. That is bad. Ah, uh, what is this? That is really good though. Especially if you're going for a super break team or something. I said I'm not gonna use it anymore. At least we got double crit damage rolls. I think that's really good. Okay, upgrade this. Hopefully it goes crit damage. Perfectly dodged again. I want at least a second piece with uh, decent substats. How about we do this? Straight to plus 15. One of each, almost. Pretty bad, I'd say. For now, let's check the characters. Final substats. It's a very low crit rate. Which means we'll be needing a crit rate. 
But since we're lazy to farm, let's just pray that this is a really good piece. Customize, crit rate piece. Please have crit damage. Nope. Of course, it's the three basic stats. If we don't have crit, also speed. Damn. Crit rate. Oh, this one has crit rate, crit damage. What am I doing? I just wasted a self modeling resin. Okay. It's okay. We're gonna get the crit damage here. What? Perfectly dodged again? Yo, that has to. That has to be crazy unlucky. Since she's probably gonna stay on the quantum set, we'll be needing a speed boots for her to our Himiko or both. So let's waste a self modeling resin as well for a speed boots. And just pray that we got some crit substat. I don't wanna look at it. Ah, uh, please have crit. Okay, there's one crit rate, there's attack, there's break. That is pretty good. You know how we do it here. We like wasting our relic experience and going straight to plus 15. Please. Nice. That is very good. After trying to equip everything we've upgraded to Herta and this light cone, we are at 80, 80 with not enough speed even. Crazy. And then for Jade, we're just using the Quantum again. 77, 110, not that bad. But we still want to upgrade both of them, so we'll farm and upgrade the new Duran Planar sets, which also increases crit damage by 25%. Before we spend our Immensifiers and Fuels, let us first upgrade the one set we got from farming Fireflies Relics. Alright, first we want the ropes and let's filter the main stat as attack percentage. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit damage. Go straight to plus 9. I think that is the safest way or most efficient way of doing it. 2 for crit rate, that is very good already. Fectress and lastly... Three rows crit rate. Nice. Already a good first piece. But of course, we have multiple follow up characters in a team. So we want three or four sets of these. Any other crit rate? If this doesn't roll, crit rate. And then we're not going to continue it. Maybe let's check the other ones first. One roll on crit rate. Two rolls on crit rate. We get the third. Speed is also good attack and before we upgrade that let's use this now since we already have two good pieces let's use this to upgrade the other one reach plus 12 as well crit damage triple roll and break effect oh my god finally we're getting something finally that's what we want to see from the start Four. <laughs> Let's go, Duran. Nice. And we even get more crit damage here. That is so good. We have a good, decent crit rate. We have a decent crit damage piece. And we're almost out of crystals once again. Attack, not so bad. Especially if you need speed, this is the way to go. Three good pieces. We'll take that. Now for these fears, I think let's separate the ones that we are prioritizing, which is Ice and Quantum for Jade and Herta. Maybe you should also include Fire for Himiko in the future as well, and maybe Attack Percentage because those are always good. So we have six of them, three Ice and two Fire. Apparently no quantum here. First, let's check if we'll get any crit substat for the attack orb. Sadly, none. The fire orbs. Speed with crit rate. That is good. Let's bring them to level 9, both of them. More crit rate. One crit rate isn't that bad. 
double crit rate that is already good we're gonna keep that for now since our priority is herta and we're running out of upgrades so let's go check each of the fort sub stats first sadly there's that let's check this speed and another speed wow that is a very fast herta if we ever use that let's go with the crit rate first Bring it to plus 9 immediately. Crit rate. 1 crit rate roll. Um, let's see the plus 12. See to the next one. Double crit rate. That is very good. And then this last piece. Let's see the plus 9 as well. Crit damage. No crit damage at all. Since this has a higher crit roll. We'll focus it first. Let's just use that one. Crit rate, another attack. I think that would be good enough for now. This one, will we ever get it? Crit damage. Yikes, that's only if we ever need the speed, but let's see how Herta is now with our new upgrades. After wearing the Durans, it went even lower, 79.74, but with the uh, Durance passive will be able to get around 25% crit, which means I think this would be better alongside with the follow-up damage. And then for Jade, I'd like to use either of these ropes again and remove the Sol Soto. So it's time to use the rest of our emancifiers and fuels to get that quantum damage sphere. But first, let's waste our last self-modeling resin. No crit. Follow up. Oh, another follow up. Another follow up. Yo, this team is crazy fun. Crazy strong and crazy fun. First run, no Duran Sphere. We got fire with crit and break and attack. Wrong set. Defense. Of course, the one we're farming is defense. Second run. Why is it always. On the wrong set. The one that doesn't need any damage boost and crit gets that. Quantum. Hopefully we get a crit sub set, but I won't be expecting that. So let's let's try to get another one first. Sadly, for our last one, it's also double forge. So, no quantum piece after all that. For our final build, our Herta got this one of the first upgrades we had. And then this one with two rolls of crit damage and crit rate each, which I got five minutes ago while trying to make her stats look better. And we literally got lucky when. I wasn't recording it. This one, I just swapped the crit rate body, the one with speed, so that I can reach 134. I mean, the one we upgraded anyway dodged crit damage, so it's not much of a difference. And then the speed boots we use self modeling resin on, crit rate, ice boost, and the four roll crit damage attack rope, which keeps her to 134 speed, 78 to 95. And for Jade, we didn't use a single thing we farmed because the Quantum Sphere didn't show up. I will still continue farming that, but that might take forever, so I won't be including that here. And this is pretty decent for now. 77108 with a 4-piece Quantum and Sal Soto. No Jade ult and to another for whip, into another Hurt of Spin, to into a Whimsical. Into a Herta ult, and then another Jade Whip. <laughs> what the heck? This comp is broken. What happened? Don't forget to like, follow, and share, or else I'm gonna chicken out. <laughs>